Rant and rave this Sunday on 41 NBC. It's the Super Bowl. The Rams and the Bengals. Tucker, who you got? I think uh, Vegas has it has it right. I think it's going to be an extremely interesting, fun to watch game. But I, I got to go with the Rams, even though the Bengals are obviously good. They've made it this far. The Rams are just built, I think, better uh, to win the Super Bowl. And if they don't win, I think it'll be very disappointing uh, with the roster that they they have there. I agree. They've got more talent on their roster offensively and defensively. They've got a lot of talent on that roster. Uh, Matthew Stafford, obviously, a, a favorite here in the state of Georgia because of his days in Athens at University of Georgia. And I think people see his career so many years in Detroit and say, man, this guy needs to be on a team that can win a Super Bowl. He's on that team now. And I think he's got a great chance to win because of what he can do and those around him. I think everybody's falling in love with Joe Burrow, but he's got plenty of chances to be a Super Bowl winning quarterback, and I think he will be, but not this year. I agree. I think the Rams will win this game. Name the Super Bowl MVP. It's easy to say, well, if the Rams win, it'll be Stafford, and if not, it will be uh, Joe Burrow, of course, and, and I think that's kind of true. It's hard to argue with that. I think for the Rams to win, Matthew Stafford needs to lead them to the, the championship. And I mean, I know it might be Aaron Donald because they he may get to Joe yeah. Burrow with that leaky offensive line for Cincinnati, but I'll stick with Stafford. Yeah, I mean, the quarterback, most important position on the, on the team, it usually is the quarterback that wins the MVP or the Heisman in college football for what it's worth. I agree. I think since we're picking the Rams to win, I'll go with Stafford to be the most valuable player. If Joe Burrow wins, he would be the second player in sports history that in a three-year span would win a college championship, a college player of the year award, and be number one pick in his teams or in his sports draft, and then win a pro championship. The only other player to do that, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I heard that on Wednesday, and that was incredible that that would be that kind of accomplishment. All right, let's talk about baseball. When's the baseball season start? I want to tell you, um, I think they'll be lucky if it's May 15th. Mm. Yeah, at this point, I guess there's no real movement or updates. I guess spring training is supposed to start next week, but that's uh, you, you would think that if there was any sense of desperation, they'd come to something by now. So I don't know. I'm with you. Who knows? Yeah, it's not looking good. The players and owners will meet on Saturday. Let's hope they can have some type of of uh, common ground, but I don't think anybody's holding their breath on that for sure. Finally, will Tom Crane win another conference game before the end of the season as the University of Georgia head basketball coach? I think yes. I'll give him one. I mean, his team isn't, you know, they're in a lot of games. They beat Alabama. They almost beat Auburn. They had a good game against Florida on, on Wednesday night. So they're just, they're right there. And it's so frustrating, I'm sure, for, for Georgia basketball fans, and especially Tom Green, to know that you are right there, but you are in a very tough conference. I think maybe the road game at Missouri would probably be the one uh, because Missouri, you never know what you're going to get with them. But, I mean, heck, they again, they, they beat Alabama and almost beat Auburn, so who knows? They'll get one. Though. The effort has been there, and hopefully that effort will result in another victory. It's going to be close because yeah. time's running out on this season and perhaps on Tom Crane, but it is. just it is. It's very disappointing of what's going on with Georgia basketball, and we'll see if there's a different situation in place in the coming weeks. Enjoy the Super Bowl on Sunday. That's Rant and Ray for this week.